another video. Today we are doing a part two of something that everyone really, really enjoyed last time, and that is close your eyes and listen for the lie featuring facts from the wildlife last time. So that means it's bird season. So I've picked out about five birds for us to learn about tonight. And I hope you enjoy it as much as Everyone seemed to enjoy the last one. So just sit back and relax. Close your eyes and all you have to worry about is listening for the lie. And I wonder if anybody yet has discovered that I have any tells for when the lie is. I myself don't really know, so they're subconscious. Anyways, the first animal that I've picked out for us tonight is one we are all pretty familiar with. It's called the ostrich. Now the ostrich is in the order Oh goodness, this is a very long word Strontheoniformes Inside the family Strontheonidae In its genus, species, scientific name is here on the fact file. The comical looking ostrich is unique in many ways. It is the world's largest bird. It can run faster than any other two-legged animal. That means faster than humans do. Can you imagine? And it lays the largest eggs of any living creature. Pretty incredible. This is card number 21 in the fact file. So let's go ahead. One 
ostrich egg is equal in volume to 25 in X. That's a lot of X. Number two. Ostrich fossils found in India, China, and southern Russia. This really is a living dinosaur. Okay. And fact number three. Let's see here. Let's see here. Okay, here we go. Here's a good one. Each male ostrich pairs up with a female during breeding season. The major hen who chooses a nest, scrape, and lays as many as 12 eggs. 12 eggs, 12 eggs. Again, that's a There we have it, three facts, and can you tell me which one was the lie? If you guessed fact two or three, you would be incorrect. That would be the truth. Ostriches really have been around for seven million years, apparently. I am not all-knowing, believe it or not. I learn things, too, when we do this. The lie was one ostrich egg is not equal in volume to 25 hen's eggs, but only So they're a little bit smaller than I originally said, but they are still very big. Very big, very, very, very big. There's our boy, look at him go. He's very ferocious, very ferocious. Okay, so that's fact file number one. Now, I tried to choose five very different birds, so each one of these um, is pretty special. I don't know about special, but just different and interesting. Like, I didn't choose pigeon, morning dove, you know, birds from the same family. They're all pretty different. Alright, so the next one, you might have seen these in zoos. This is the blue and yellow macaw. How pretty. And this is animal fact file card number 20.
Can you see that? Actually, you're supposed to have your eyes closed, so you can't see that for sure. You can't see it. Your eyes are closed. Okay. And it says here, the colorful blue and yellow macaw lives in the forests of Central and South America, yet remarkably little is known about its life in the wild. some facts here. Okay. Did you know blue and yellow macaws fly as far as 15 miles to feed? It's a long way. Okay. Fact number two. Here's a good one. Usually I like the ones with the numbers. Okay. Okay, this one's good. When the young hatch, they are blind. They do not develop their full plumage until they are at least 10 weeks old. After they grow feathers or fledge, they remain with their parents for several months before they become independent. Okay, so which one was the lie? I'll give you a hint. It wasn't number three. My stomach is going crazy right now. I guess I'm digesting. Okay. So if you guessed number two, it's the lie. Two was the lie. Macaws belong to the parrot family, which has 328 species, not 350. But still, that's a lot of parrots. There's a lot of birds out there, you guys. That's a lot of birds. Ever seen a bird book? Those things are beautiful macaw. See, we didn't find a fun fact. Let me find a fun fact that you don't have to worry about. The largest species of macaw is the high hyacinth. Macaw. It is three feet long from head to tail tip. The red shouldered macaw is the smallest species, measuring only 12 
inches. It's okay. They pair for life. That's pretty cool. Or they think they do. Alright. So that was our macaw. So all our friends in Europe might be a little bit more familiar with this guy. It says it's mainly found in Europe, not really found in North America. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. Let me find the first fact. Right here we go. Number one. In urban areas, the tawny owl will eat a higher proportion of small birds, such as sparrows and starlings. Fact. Fact number two. Here we go. The female incubates one to two eggs. Because she lays the eggs one at a time, they hatch at intervals. And fact number three. I already have it. Fledgling takes about five weeks. The young are fed by their parents until they are two to three months old. Okay, so which was the lie and which was the truth? Number one is the lie. 
you would be incorrect. So between two or three, which is the lie. female incubates two to five eggs, not one to two. Let's find another fun fact. Tony Ellis Common throughout Europe, where its coloring varies from gray to reddish brown. can be encouraged to nest in wooded areas that are lacking in mature trees if they are provided with nesting boxes. These owls also produce owl pellets. And I don't know about you, but I know when This is another very, very well-known bird. Um, it's unlike any bird we've seen. Let's see if you can guess what kind of bird this is. Very, very iconic. Some would say a very iconic bird we have here. Let's see how good your intuition is. We have the Emperor Penguin. These things are so much bigger than they look. They're huge. Huge. How tall are they? Yeah, like, these guys are four feet tall. And they... <laughs> they're kind of fat, too. Oh, uh, they weigh 45 to They are in the order Spinisciformes in the family Spinisidae, and their scientific name is. Is also the hardiest. Living on the Antarctic ice pack, it endures sub-zero temperatures and hurricane force winds. Alright, let's see here. This is animal fact number five. Special adaptations box. Nice. Okay. Here we go. Fact number one.
and fact number three. pretty incredible animals, but they are slightly less incredible than I've described them. Can you guess which one was the lie? amazing creatures. All right, all right, all right. And we are already to the last fact file I have picked out for us today. I should have, maybe I should have picked out another one. I guess I can get one out of the book <laughs> if I want to. All right. Again, this is another very iconic bird and I don't think y'all have seen it, no and this is a bird that resides in North America so some of you guys if you're very lucky if you're looking around maybe if you have a specific bird feeder in your backyard you might have been lucky enough to spot this bird but probably not lucky enough to take a picture of it unless you're specifically waiting for it because they are quite fast. Uh, you also have to be quite skilled and you have to, have to undergo a lot of training to be able to put bird tags on these birds because they are so small. So if you haven't guessed already, this is the iconic ruby-throated hummingbird. It's a great one to end on. Great one to end on. It is in the order Apodiformes. In the family. And its scientific name is Archylochus colubris. This strikingly beautiful bird 
is one of the best known hummingbirds. It gets its name from the male's magnificent blood red throat plumage. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. They are four inches in length, and they weigh one one hundredth of an ounce. That's so cute. And this is animal fact file number two, card two in the bird section. All right, so fact. Number one, let's see here, okay, fact number one, the ruby-throated hummingbird has the smallest number of feathers ever. Number two. Let's see here. Okay. Despite its tiny size, the ruby throated hummingbird migrates more than 2,000 miles from the eastern United States, crossing 600. And fact number three, the hummingbird needs to eat twice its body weight in food every single day. So, which one was the lie? One? If you guessed number two, you would be correct. Number two was once again the lie. Despite its tiny size, the ruby-throated hummingbird migrates more than 1,850 miles from the eastern United States, so a little less than 2,000, which is what I said. And these are very, very interesting animals. Um, let's see here. Let's see. I saw something really interesting. Oh, each hummingbird species makes a different humming sound depending on the speed of its wings. How cute is that? That is so cute. Those are very, 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 very cute animals. Okay, and I'm going to grab one more out of the book for us. I think we have time. This 
like the owl is a more of a predator than prey. Not quite as iconic as the bald eagle, probably, but this is the golden eagle. Still pretty cool. Maybe it's more iconic than the bald eagle. I don't know. I don't know opinions, right? They're crazy. The beautiful animal we have here. It is in the order. Balcony for me. In the family. So fact number one, actually let's switch it up this time. I'm gonna do four facts, if that's okay with you. But you'll still be listening only for one lie. So this is sort of a bonus round, maybe. <laughs> okay, fact number one. Number two. And there we have it. So which one of those was the lie? Have you guessed? Number one, he would be incorrect. And if you guessed number four, then you would be correct. It was number four. Eagles swoop down on their prey at speeds of up to 95 miles an hour. Though so still very fast, but not quite as fast. I never make it higher. Anyways, what incredible animals. Animals are really cool, you guys. Very cool. And 
a fun fact for the Golden Eagle. Let's see here. golden eagle is difficult to catch a glimpse of in the wild. Not only does it inhabit remote regions, its numbers have greatly been reduced. Unfortunately, with a lot of these big birds, that's just how it is. Sometimes look, look, looks like the common buzzard. And it usually lays two eggs, but the chick that hatches first is usually the only survivor. Has a wingspan of six to seven feet. It only weighs about 6 to 13 pounds. <laughs> and there we have it. So that's going to be the last of our fact file for tonight. And I really hope you enjoyed, but I do have to apologize for the fact And I hope that you can get there soon and that you have a great day tomorrow. Let me know which bird was your favorite. If you want another bird edition or if you want me to go ahead and move on to the amphibian and reptile uh, edition in probably about a few weeks, a month or two. Let me know if you enjoyed, and I hope you have a great rest of your evening. Thanks for being here.